downloading latest intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, Episode 7, recorded on December 12th, 2017. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And I'm Agent Soho. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the Agent Academy, and thanks for sharing with all the other agents out there. This week, we're going to be talking about things being removed from ingress and things being added to ingress and things getting better in ingress plus something special what's that eric a christmas song what <laughs> christmas cheer it's getting close to christmas it is and uh we have uh, some christmas news but let's jump right into the sit rep sit rep just like that bam sit rep Sit rep. Sit rep. Speaking of uh, Christmas stuff, we uh, put out a Christmas video last week, and um, it was uh, the uh, top five gifts for uh, to give a uh, Ingress agent, and um, it's just some cool ideas, um, you know, for, for your uh, your loved one or or your hated one. I don't know yeah. um, what you're into, but uh, you know, if you want to look around for um, Ingress stuff. Um, or you just want them all aggregated for you. It's a cool little video that highlights all that stuff, some neat stuff. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, um, or if you're like me, like my mom asked my wife and asked me, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm just like, you know, you don't have to get us anything, Uh, but she always wants ideas. And so I could just give her a link to that video and be like, look, there's, there's something in there that, uh, I'm sure I'll love. Yeah, and there's really cheap stuff, and there's like really expensive. Kim was watching the video, and she was like, "Oh my god, that's two hundred dollars!" And it is, but it's a really good item. And I'm not even going to say what it is. Go watch the video; it's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty uh, awesome. But anyway, so uh, uh, we, we have lots of news here this week. It looks like, um, and uh, let's dive right into the um, the pool of news. Splash! Splash. Ah, there's news for everyone. <laughs> something like that mm-hmm. so first is the circle k this was in, in the newsletter they sent out some circle k information and they put it on this like transparent background which i thought was funny so i put our image behind it but <laughs> anyway it's the old information like it's not the december information so don't be confused if you go to circle k and start trying to get your points to get the new stuff because uh, this isn't how it works right now at least not in our area um, currently in our area, it doesn't really work at all. Actually, uh, I've been, uh, three times now and just will not points will not show up. So, uh, I Man. don't really know what to do about that. Yeah. So, uh, don't be confused by that. Go look on, there's a post on Reddit about it, but the, the new one, you look in a whole different area and things like that. Yeah. Uh, also there is some, um, some, some weird lore videos. Where are you, where, where are all these lore videos coming from? These bizarre clips. Oh, I, uh, found them in a, in a briefcase. <laughs> oh, in a briefcase, huh? A self-destructing briefcase. You remember this thing? I do. It's top secret. It's still <laughs> let me, let me see what's in the briefcase. <laughs> He's opening it if you can't, if you didn't know. Right. Um, so, uh, P.A. Chappelle, that is a video about uh, him poisoning people and, and stuff like that. But these videos, they, they throw them out. You'll find them on the Twitter, Twitters or on the Google uh, page, as well as, you know, Reddit. People will post it there. So, uh, cool lore. See what's going on. Yeah. There. So it's like precursor stuff to kind of a new storyline. I, I I assume because some of these videos are not on the Ingress channel and they're they're hidden or they're unlisted from odd places around the yeah. internet. So it's very mysterious. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we should do a video that kind of like it's almost like a uh, not role play. What would be the word? Like so, we're newscasters reporting on these happenings that these videos are. Right. Oh yeah. Right. And so you, you do a, a video and kind of piecing it all together as it's happening. Yeah. Be like a journalist, some kind of XM journalist or something. Yeah. Right? <laughs> or would that be a cool segment to do for the podcast? Like we just oh, stitch yeah. it in instead of talking like about the poisoner, we just right. throw it in there. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Let's talk about that. Okay, so we have also um, another weird little thing here, another odd video. It's an interview with the head of NIA, 
uh, uh, Hank. And uh, this is this is more. This is like a thirty minute video. Yeah. Um, with lots of really cool stuff. Did you kind of want to run down the bullet list of like what was mentioned here? Yeah. Um, just kind of quickly. So like I said, it's a long video and Hank, it, it's weird to me. He's an actor, but yet he seems to know a lot about what's going on, which is great. Right. Cause, and they kind of mm-hmm. give him the leeway to, yeah, discuss this and to discuss that. And he kind of knows what he can't. So some of the things he talks about is going forward, they're going to do the, uh, the sunshine principle. So that, that's basically, they're going to shed light on everything and give out more information and uh, for for players and agents to know more about what's going on, which I think is good. Also, uh, he's building unity within the NIA, so hopefully he can work with resistance agents because we know he's enlightened and there's a big concern, controversy, uh, what have you, on if he's going to be all enlightened or not. So he, he says that he'll work with the other team. We'll see. Mm-hmm. And then I, they, uh, he gave the definition of exogenous, which are uh, the shapers and the Enzir. So first there were just the shapers who were the alien. Uh, and, and then uh, the the Enzir uh, came out. And so they needed a term that encapsulated both of those. And so that's, that's when you're seeing the exogenous entities. Yeah, exogenous. Interesting. And then I thought it was cool that he confirmed that there was no third faction at this time. Now that could just be right now, or it could be with prime coming out. I know some people with the red being highlighted in the video, a lot of people were thinking there was going to be a new right. faction, which I hope there's not because you know how I am with red. Like I'd be like, Oh, I don't know what to do. Not oh, really, yeah. You but, love the red, <laughs> but I think it would tear apart a lot of, like teams and, and things like that. So I really hope they never come out with another faction. I mean, it would be so hard to field or link anything with a third faction. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Right. I vote no on that. <laughs> no on third faction. <laughs> on the ballot. Cause I voted. I voted. You voted. You do have a, I voted t- sticker. There's a vote Here. today. Yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, that's right. Ken Owen killed by eight fifty five, but they still want to know who hired them. That's the, questions and then his nomad series that he's done a few episodes of he hopes to continue that even being the head of niantic or nia so lots of good information in there go watch the full video to be in the description and what about the weather effects pokemon go has introduced weather effects in the latest update do you think this is something that could happen in ingress in the future some kind of data storms or some other weird thing that happens and affects what's going on in the game yeah like a um uh a weather anomaly an xm weather <laughs> anomaly where xm is raining from the sky <laughs> or like um uh it's rain and xm that's what like I mean. rare portal sh- portal shields are raining or something. I don't know. Like, oh my god, power cubes everywhere. They're all circle K. Woo. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I it, to me right now it just sounds like you know just something uh, cosmetic. But uh, I don't know. I guess they could do something interesting um, yeah. with that. Yeah, because I mean, in Pokemon Go, it actually changes what creatures are available and what's stronger and and oh. has some in game. Uh, real effects and they're actually some people are saying it's harder to get certain pokemon because they're they have to wait for a certain weather thing in their area and blah 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 so interesting so so, uh, actually i just had an idea real quick what if uh, it starts raining real hard in one little area and the things that are on the on the ground get washed away so they only last maybe like 10 minutes until they're just boom gone, like all the keys, all the garbage on the floor, boom gone, washed away in the sewers with um, a scary clown. So that would be kind of cool. That would be cool. Wrong segment, <laughs> but cool. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next thing here. Um, uh, Did you ever camp. see? This? Yeah. Go on. Sorry. Uh, Camp Navarro. So this was a really cool thing they did last, was it last April or May? Um, yeah. th- there was lots of videos I-, I saw that came from it. And, you know, I didn't really know about it. I guess you didn't know about it either, right? Beforehand, 
we just yeah, kind of no, discovered I, it. I just saw the the videos and and uh, Colin had some uh, videos where where he went in mm-hmm. people and stuff. So that was really cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, kind of it's it's kind of like um, if you know nothing about this, it's it's a uh, it's an uh, official event that takes place. Um, at a campground uh, where um, lots of people get together. Think about kind of an outdoor convention, like a small type of a convention where there's uh, events and uh, cool uh, activities to do and things, but then it's an official event. So you'll see like, you know, I can take people there and actors. <laughs> well, and they're and the, the teams that, that go to Camp Navarre, they actually build uh, portals basically. Yeah. So it's really kind of cool to see what they come up with and and what it does. And and there's always a bunch of lore comes out of it and and Mm -hmm. different just information about the game. So it's always really cool to see what happens there. I I would love to see if we could go and cover it, like make a video of it, something like that. I I don't know if if we can have the, you know, availability time, but let's see. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. This is uh, May 24th to May 27th of next year, of 2018. And uh, so put that on your calendar. We certainly will and see what, what we can make happen. But I, I think that'd be a really cool uh, thing. Um, oh, I didn't men- we didn't mention where. Um, uh, I forget now. Where is this, Dale? Do you remember right offhand? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's at Camp Navarro. Camp Navarro. <laughs> That's in California. I, California. Right? No, uh, uh, is it? I, like, well, I'm someone, pretty sure. Someone's going to know. Someone well, let us know. Navarro, California. Navarro is a city. <laughs> so uh, that's my only guess. Um, Navarro. Well, you talk Francisco. about Dave Navarro. Dave Navarro. Um, I'll, oh, I'll find it out. Okay. Okay. Um, um, well, you know, what one, one thing that comes to mind when I when North I look California. Saw, Thank you, Nick Sutton. Okay. <laughs> so um the videos that came out, like Brent was saying, the really elaborate cool portals and all these like resonators and all the lights and funky stuff outdoors kind of reminded me of a very small scale burning man, but out in, in a uh, in the middle of a forest instead of a desert. And you know, just because of all the kind of creative people all hanging out and weird glowy things and structures and so uh, I don't know. It just it seems like so much fun. It's just like a weekend trip, you know. Go out and but if it is California, that's a long drive for us. We're in Alabama, so we've we've made that drive before, and it's um, a few days of driving, no, no <laughs> sleep. That's what we did. Yeah, uh, we slept in shifts in the van, and and it was a re- it was that pretty was crazy. crazy. Out to BlizzCon, but, yeah, uh, we drove doing to videos for Anaheim. Them. And uh, on the way back, we actually, uh, a dude who was driving with us ran out of gas in the desert. Like everybody, t- there's signs everywhere leaving California about, hey, get gas because it's a big desert and you don't want to run out of gas. Well, we ran out of gas and so we were on the side of the road for what, three hours waiting for a tow truck to come tow us to the next gas station where gas is like 40 bucks a gallon. And they're like, don't complain wow. about the prices or we won't sell it to you. Good day. Oh, oh yeah, they were expensive, and actually, the, the the tow truck that came to get us was late and let us know that it was late because it had to tow another tow truck that ran out of gas. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> it was really bizarre. So we took. I I remember st- sitting in the middle of the road with my with my camera, and I took all these photos. We're just like in the desert, just just nothing around. It was so weird. Anyway, um, that was the story of the day. That was our desert story. Oh, look. So, and uh, JBJ Blaze just subscribed to the channel. Thanks, JBJ. That's super hey. awesome. Sub hype. Yeah, thanks, JBJ Blaze. And that's what we'll get to in a minute. So, didn't mean to skip ahead, but I, I just saw that in chat. Oh, uh, yeah. And you will hear his voice on the show later. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, at the top of the show, you mentioned that there's some things being removed from the game. Tell us more about that. Mm hmm. So, as you may or may not be aware, if you follow anything in grass these days, there are a couple items that are going to be changing. And, and that's mainly the the Mufuga capsule. How do, how do you say it? The, the Mofo capsule. Mofo. You say it, the Mofo. <laughs> the Mofo capsule. <laughs> it's going to be changing. Uh, the name's changing to a quantum capsule. 
as well as axes are going to be changed to Aegis shields, which reminds me of uh, another game. Yeah, um, awesome. we know that very well. That's the shield that uh, Athena and Zeus carry. It's a uh, um, and the item and, right? uh, and smite Greek lore or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's also an item that you can you can buy. In Everybody the store, gets the Aegis. It's one of the best. Anyway, yeah, it's the best item of the game. But uh, anyway, so Aegis and uh and quantum so to me it sounds like they're dropping the whole sponsorship thing or changing so i think they've changed from different are the sponsorships ended right from those companies yeah. so as Could well be, as yeah. as those changing the names uh possibly changing other things now i i don't know if there's going to happen anything happen to the actual items i think the the capsules will just turn into the new capsules and the axes will turn into the new shields or possibly they'll stay the same and go away. But mm-hmm. also the, the portals that the axes came from, I guess they were like a bank or something, right? The axe or whatever. And they may, right. were, they were portals too everywhere. So those are probably going to leave the network. They said something about uh, axe portals will likely disconnect from the global portal network at some point in the near future. So one of the things I've seen is, and I don't know if this is already happening, but someone said that they knew someone who lost their guardian because it was one of these portals and it went away. So wow. do, you, do you think that's a, if it happened, like uh, we, you know, it's unconfirmed for me, at least I don't know if it happened for real or not, but if it did happen, do you think they should like kind of look at that and go, Oh, anybody who had one of those, we're going to just go ahead and give it to you if you were within X amount of days or something. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, well, for one thing, they should have some sort of a, a heads up period. <laughs> yeah. You know, to kind of let people know exactly what's happening. Uh, so you can kind of prepare for it, but, um, and apparently uh, the portals are already gone. Nag is saying in chat, Okay, so, or already gone. Yeah, my mofos so, were changed earlier. I looked earlier today, uh, but continue what you're saying. I'll, I'll look again. Um, but uh, the AXA um items are are not gone though, right? I mean, right? No, no, no. Because they'll change. Those will change. They're just names. changing the name. Okay, good. Because you know the thing is, like in these in these um, I still call them mofo capsules, M U F G capsules i uh ha- i've been growing or uh whatever you call it i call it growing i've been growing axes for years now and i have a couple hundred of them and i always have a, a constant supply of those and the very rare portals and also the um uh, the virus and the jarvis um i have hundreds of all these things and like and uh i would be very sad if it went away because i i count on that um and and these capsules are very important to me too because I would have like hardly any gear without them and uh, so I like that they are going to be changing and not going away completely. Um, but also there was some sort of um, something that had to do with uh, uh, axes specifically not growing anymore or not multiplying in the capsules because they didn't want them to or something. Was that all a rumor? Uh, it's probably a rumor, and I might have started it. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> so, I first off, I, I kind of read <laughs> the uh, announcement quickly when I first read it, and when I read Axe Supporters will likely disconnect from the global port, I thought they were talking about the Axes themselves. So, I thought they were... I thought this was basically from... Yeah, so many people with mofos out there just growing Axes and other things... Uh, to me, that seems like really imbalancing to the game. Like you can't balance the game when you you don't know how many people are growing what, and and all of a sudden, the amount of items in the world that you thought should be in there because of the drop rate are now you know not existent. I mean, it's just everywhere because you can have a thousand of these across you know a thousand people growing you know two a day, you know one or two a day or something crazy. Mm-hmm. So I thought maybe they were trying to get rid of that and change the capsules into a new capsule and be like, Hey, here's the new capsule and it can only grow these things. Right. So you can't right. do these uh, major items, but you can do all the, the little ones, but it sounds like maybe not, maybe it's just 
going to be a ch- name change. Yeah, maybe they're okay with that. You know, it makes sense because, you know, in an economy, you're you're not allowed to 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 create your own money, to just start printing new money. Um, but you are allowed to make money um and you know, like interest or um, you know, stocks or or however you're investing money. You you can make money, you can spend money, you can lose money, but you're not allowed to create the money. But in this game, you're allowed to create the money. I it uh, that's always been bizarre to me too. Why? I don't know. How can you balance that game? So, uh, you know, oh, so, okay. So you just did a little experiment. So, yeah. And this is the scariest thing I've done in a while in the game. Nag, Nag in the chat room said, try dropping the muffled and then look at the name. Uh, and so on the ground, it says quantum capsule, but in the inventory, it still says uh, mofo. Interesting. Uh, so there's some, um, it's starting to happen, everyone. It's starting to happen. Uh, how many people are going to still call the uh, AXA an AXA? I don't know. I'd like to Aegis. I'm so used to it from Smite, and it, I think of it as Shield because that's what it is in that game that it, I always get AXA and ADA confused. Like, I always like, uh, one yeah, because three letter words. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, you're right though, because Ag- uh, Aegis is already part of our daily vocabulary because we play this game all the time. So yeah, I, I would not have a problem with just calling it Aegis. And plus we run this podcast. It would be confusing if we didn't call it it's by its actual name. <laughs> um, but, uh, well, we're all always confused apparently. So that's okay. Yeah, and, and the quantum, I, I love that because now it's not this mofja or mofo or mofo doesn't even make any sense when I say that to people. They're like, what? And I'm like, I don't know. It just, I can when, say when, you, when you look at the words, you glance them real fast, it looks like mofo. So that's why I call it that. Well, now but we, quantum, way cooler, I think. And now we can make some quantum leap jokes. <laughs> that's what everybody <laughs> yeah, right? needs. With man. our scanners. <laughs> like uh, Al, wasn't that his name? Al. Al. Ow. Uh okay, so let's then, all move on. I'm trying right, unless you have my brain like joke. trying to think of the name of the robot. What's the squidgy or something? What was the squishy? They always call oh. it the computer or something. You'll look it up. Oh, yeah. Right. So there was also an announcement or a statement from Niantic. I don't know if everybody saw it. It's it's talking about pretty much the uh the brokers. Uh, guild stuff and they basically said that they've taken action against uh, for a set of systems and tools designed to impact negatively impact the player community mm-hmm. so they've done stuff to them and they will do stuff to people in the future so i thought that was interesting and we did get a comment i am not giving out names here and i'm trying <laughs> to find it it's not in the, well it's not in the Damn it. I didn't put it in the show notes. Anyway, we did get a comment from a person, a player, an agent that had some inside info on it and said that apparently that the, the heads, the admins were the ones who got banned and they actually got a, a cease and desist order from them that basically said, if you start it, you know, we'll, we'll take uh, legal action if you start a new account. So don't even try to start a new account. So, that's telling Yikes. you if if you're starting to make these tools that they're not going to be happy when they catch you. And I know a lot of people are upset that they didn't go further on the rest of the people who were in the Slack room and the names and whatnot. And like I, I, I kind of get that to some aspect because it, it's like when you're playing this game and you're you're with people, you know, and they go, Hey, come join the chat or whatever. And they give you a link or whatever. And you go join it. If you got in there like, Oh wait, this isn't what I want to do. Uh, and you, you know, you stop going, but maybe you're not a Slack user and don't know that you got to like, actually like leave it, leave it. And I don't know, maybe it keeps your name in there. So there could be some, you know, false positives of people who absolutely did not want to be there, that their names were there. Now the people who were, they have like screenshots of them actually doing stuff. That I could see them um, going further on, you know, but also then again, you know, I could start a website tomorrow, fake all this data, make fake screenshots galore and whatnot and do the same thing. So I, I don't know. I think it's good. It's, it's like getting rid of the drug dealers, right? Go after them, not the people 
who are using the drugs because uh, then they don't have any drugs to use. This is a weird analogy and went the wrong <laughs> way. Um, but, you know, it's good that they did something and said something, right? So mm-hmm. I'm sure eventually um, uh, other tools will be found and caught as well, and they'll have the same thing happen, and they should. Yeah. No matter what side, right? Yeah. No matter the side, doesn't matter. Uh, wrongdoers are still wrongdoers. Um, also, let's rewind just a hair. <laughs> and and Quantum Leap, Al, and his little handheld uh, um, little beep, 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 boop, beep, beep, boop, little machine. Squidgy, spidgy. I'm so Ziggy. close. Ziggy, I was so close. I died. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right, moving on there, and uh, <laughs> and uh, what else we got? Well, we got uh, some happier news. I think I didn't know oh, if yeah? you hit that. I like Happy's cool. I like Happy. And do you know Happy? I know Happy. He's oh, my the, neighbor. <laughs> and the information was right below that. If I just read it a little bit further. So anyway, so November <laughs> Lima schedule. Is out. I love that. Uh, so love that. go check that on band. that. But the happy these, stuff. Well, this is also in Asia and the Pacific area. So this is like, sorry, America, North America, South America. Um, you know, we won't be able to go unless we're like, you know, going to fly or swim there. But uh, we'll catch it next time around because um, we we haven't seen the Lima in uh, a good two, three years now. So we'll oh. have to see it again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it will be cool. I can't wait. It's always a good time. So if it is coming to your area, like that was so much fun when we did win and uh, you made a video about the whole thing and it was so much fun and uh, we weren't win trading. I want to say that specifically, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> but we did try to orchestrate some cooperative Cross anyway, faction play. Just yeah. go. It'll be fun. You'll have some probably drinks. You'll probably get some cards or something from the experimenters and stuff at the uh, in a one three three one. So go. Mm-hmm. And now to the happy stuff. Are you ready? This is I'm ready. Song, a Christmas song. It's an ingress Christmas song. And this was uh, created by uh, Rev- Revdigen and uh, Essie Laurie. So uh, Revdigen did the music and sang that you'll hear. And Essie Laurie did the lyrics. So without further ado. Wait, what is the title? It's uh, beginning to look a lot like Checkpoint. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Checkpoint Everywhere you go Take a look at the Intel map See where the surfs are at Throw the bass lane now It's beginning to look a lot like Checkpoint Lockers are no more But the prettiest sight to see Is the bath that will be boosting your cell score A pair of onyx illuminators Is the wish of ages that anchors Smurfs that will cry And curse the green sky Is the hope of you and I And the operators can hardly wait To count the ends It's beginning to look a lot like Checkpoint Everywhere you go There's an agent that's far from home One in the park as well of bogeans and comms you won't show It's beginning to look a lot like Checkpoint Soon the field will be up And the thing that will make us cheers on Tell a one we'll hear Flip and flow It's more Yeah! That's awesome. That was awesome. So everybody go give, we'll, we'll put the um, the page in the show notes. Go give them some mad props because that is awesome. And uh, just ingress content is really cool and awesome. And the more we can see and get from anyone, no matter what faction, we should support it. You should support it. Everybody should support yeah. it. 
Definitely. Love the songs too. If anybody else has a song any of any sort, please let us know because uh, that's always awesome. And uh, uh, even the news gets better and better and better. We got another piece of good news. What happened to you this week? What happened to me is that I uh, got a new access level. Bing. So I, I, nice. I went on a glyph, glyph hacking uh, thing and got my last 500 glyph hack points to level up. So very nice. And I got level a, 12, huh? Level 12. And then I took the We're test the same to level. the OPR. Yeah, but not for long. Oh. We're going to go. You're leveling up this week. I'm going to take you. <laughs> Good. You to go with me. I know where 35 portals are that I can get you in 20 Ooh. minutes. Uh, I need it. So, so you can you can OPR now? You did the test? I went and did the test, and I'm going to say this about the OPR. Like, I am a person who hates taking tests, especially multiple choice tests, because I overthink the damn things too much, and I basically talk myself out of the correct answers. And I found myself mm. almost doing it on this test because mm. there would be things where it'd be like, you know, a place with a bunch of people at it. And, but the answers, because it's multiple choice, it's not a, is this a good portal? And you know, portals aren't supposed to have people in it, but that's not part of the answer. Uh, but because it was like a transit station or something, did that supposed to be a portal, but I could have almost taught myself out of it, trying to pick something else just because it had people in the picture, something stupid. So don't do that. Uh, when you get to the OPR test, just take it and just look at it and look at the answers probably look at the answers first and then look at the picture and yeah. then go from that. Cause you're not really doing the full on, is this a good portal and all the things go in it. You're doing whatever the question actually asks you. So just take that part of the quiz. Don't, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Actually that makes a lot of sense. Cause I, I, I did that instead of the way that you were thinking, I wasn't thinking of every tiny aspect I was thinking of what, what, what is the point they're trying to convey? What is their question? And I, right. I would answer that, and and I had no problem. So you passed it, right? I passed it. I've already got like okay. seven um, contracts or whatever. Cool. Uh, I've done about 20 or 20-something 20 things. Uh, so there's already like seven new portals be, because I was part of the system, uh, but none of them are the ones that I submitted in the past couple weeks. I think I am in some black hole and just won't get my portals done it's crazy i haven't seen him either i i did lots of opr this week too i i don't know did you see any huntsville portals uh yeah i okay. saw um, i'm sure how to help oh, you with that oh god my my hey, echo alexa. god this it loves to talk to oh, me crap. while i'm saying things. stop uh, dude. alexa stop <laughs> yours <laughs> yeah Sorry. everybody's Sorry. got an echo <laughs> anyway so uh Yes, I have some. Uh, uh, I had some Huntsville's this week. Finally, um, I just it, haven't seen any Huntsville's. Oh, just at all. Like, I, I got a, a Madison, Madisons, but no Huntsville's. Yeah, got a Huntsville. I got it. It was a trail. Uh, two trails, two trail signs, okay. whatever. Um, nothing too exciting, really. <laughs> well, the nag, and I'm going to call you nag every every time I, I see it because uh, I don't have to say the last part it makes a good point that you never see your own portals and, and that is absolutely uh, true, but I was hoping Eric saw mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not so. yet, but maybe unless they know that we're friends and they're um, doing something about it. Friends don't uh, OPR. <laughs> uh, so on, on my side on my week, you know, of course I'm still, uh, I, I still need my uh, m more uniques for the pioneer badge so that I can level up to 13 um but uh i did notice there's a lot of level eight still up around me that that uh, are still around from the fifth year anniversary the five-year anniversary event and uh that's really cool because i i figured um resistance would go around town cleaning up uh i i don't know I like i mean i didn't go around cleaning up the eight the level eight blues but i guess they didn't bother either but it's just kind of nice to see remains from the event still there because you know how easy it was to make eight so it's like everybody's home portals and eight probably not, anyway not over here oh Madison, no not for Madison's you Madison's cleared up there, there's no eights anywhere over here 
Uh, okay. So, well, of course, now that I say it, if local <laughs> resistance hears this show, they'll probably clean it up. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, but uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm having some trouble this week um, uh, going out and getting uniques because um, Kim's car broke down and she's having to drive my car to work and back. And I work from home, so I don't really ever drive much. But during the day, I if I'm going out to do something, I will certainly go and uh, do some ingress action. So, And specifically, if I'm going to level to 13, I definitely want to spend a few hours on the road, but I can't. So me and you will have to go and uh, and get some. Yeah. What you doing tonight? Tonight? Well, we'll talk about that. I don't know. <laughs> tonight, tonight, tonight. Speaking of tonight, I'm going to go try Speaking to get some more points tonight from the Circle K so I can finish this contest we've got a contest running i don't know if you've heard about it but if you haven't you need to take part of it but you can enter the contest by letting us know when you think ingress prime will be released so leave a comment in the videos or call in either one uh but we'll keep track of these comments and the comment needs to know the exact time and day you think it will be uh released and then we're going to go with the day first. And if you get, if there's multiple people to get the day right, then we'll go to time. Who got the time closer uh, to when it's yep. released. Now that one may be a little more difficult because if they just, their main, it may be hard to figure out a time. Well, um, mm-hmm. so we didn't actually say when, well, what time zone and all that kind of business either. Yeah. Um, but I, I uh, let's just make it clear now. Let's just choose San Francisco time because that's the headquarters of Niantic right. um, Labs. And it, I guess that just is easy. That's um, uh, um, so, mountain time right. right, or Pacific time. What is that? <laughs> but we won't know like when, like what time the app is released because of how like iOS works and – the Google. Oh. So we, there won't be a time time. So let's just take the time stamp off the announcement. So if they say it's going to be released tomorrow, then we know tomorrow, but the time will take off when the announcement was made. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, if the time doesn't, um, if it's not important, then, then, you know, we, we just won't use that for the contest. If, yeah. if, if there's a tie, then we'll probably just announce there's a tie and then do something about it. Or maybe how about if there's a tie, we just honestly pick a random one. Like we go to a random generator, random.org or whatever. I've you got a wheel. I mean? We will put their name on the wheel and spin it. Okay. That'd be fun. Actually. It's something visual, right? We got the that wheel. way we wouldn't. And then we'll, um, we'll do announce the winner. Yeah, so that will be fun. Okay, so um, yeah, that's the that's what we'll do, and we'll announce the winner that on the next episode after the after the prime comes out, right? Because that makes sense. Yeah, but really, if you're listening to the show, I mean, you're all winners already. So, <laughs> you know, what's the twenty five dollar uh, gift code? And the, the so and the I know we've said different things in different places because Eric and I don't uh, communicate well with each other. Uh, but it's so we're going to try to use the code from the circle K cause I've been getting points there. And so I was just going to get the code from that instead of me using it, give it for this contest. If that doesn't work because I'm not getting the points from it currently, like the last three times I haven't gotten the points, So I'm stuck at seven points and I need, I forget how many 25, maybe, I don't know. So, if that doesn't happen, then I will. We will just buy a gift code from uh, like Google Play, and then give you that code. So then you can use it that way. Yeah. So um, I don't, uh, and also if Circle K is not in your area because Circle K isn't in. Uh, um, R- right. The gift certificate country. is for Shop Ingress. It's not like a Circle K gift certificate. Oh, it's okay. Use okay. the points and get a, an ingress shop dot ingress dot com. Oh, then you can just buy swag and stuff with it. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's okay. I thought okay. people would like it. Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, because they're international, so um, sweet. All righty then. 
that uh, that was our sit rep. That was a big one too. That was the bulk of the show, and uh, we're gonna go all the way down to the old "What's in the Capsule." Oh, you skipped one thing. I did. You skipped the Twitch update. Oh, the Twitch <laughs> update. <laughs> so we got our sub button for uh, Agent Academy Twitch channel, and with that comes new uh, icons. So if you're a subscriber to the channel. You can get um, two icons, one's an Enlightened and one's a Resistance. So you'll be able to use those, I think, in any Twitch channel after that. Then, So you can be watching anything and throw out your faction symbol. As well as you'll get a, a cool Agent Academy symbol in front of your name, at least when you're chatting in our chat room. And uh, so come on by the Twitch update. There's some uh, Amazon Prime like free things to get the free sub button, too. Like If you're a Prime member, you actually can get the sub to one channel for free so uh that's how i actually sub to our own channel with because i have amazon prime so if you have that just use that and sub for free and then it doesn't cost you anything else so anyway i thought it was really cool and it's really cool to see the symbols flying in there yeah yeah and everybody's got a prime account i mean i i would think right at this point because it's so handy dandy yeah and and they have a new uh, monthly one too so you can just get it for 5.99 a month instead of the 60 bucks a year if Mm-hmm. Or 80, 60 or 80 or something. Yeah. But cool. 60 bazillion, jillion. Million. Bazillion, jillion. So I guess that's. That is it. And then we're going to go to uh, the next thing. Which we got to skip, right? Uh, what's in is the it? castle? Oh. I was going with the, what <laughs> Andy got to say about it, not this. What's in the capsule? So, uh, what's in the capsule? And we are skipping the the Andy uh, stuff today because I think he fell asleep again and he didn't uh, answer the AMA in time. But that's okay. Maybe he's in the capsule. Maybe we'll find him in there. So, today, (laughs) we've got uh, some ideas for the games. And if you have ideas for the games, feel free to send them in or post them on uh, video SoundClouds everywhere the episode is at. We got one here today from on Redditor. Mm-hmm. A Redditor named Durf Vader. You want to read it? No, I was going to let you do it. Oh, okay. Uh, Durf Vader. He uh, he says, give four samps some new abil- extra ability, like doubling the amount of XM needed to flip a portal with a virus. I thought that was pretty interesting because not only does it zap you back for some XM when you blast it, but it also hurts you when you flip it because that you need so much XM to flip anyway. So uh, I, I could see a point where if you have too many four stamps on, would you not be able to flip it at all? You wouldn't have enough XM. Because you would have to be like probably like level 16 to have that much in your tank. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, you could use a Circle K. Would. Could you use a Circle K? Because yeah. it extends your tank, right? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So uh, I don't know. It's a it's an interesting idea because flipping is very easy to do. You just click it, bang. It's real easy to grow because I have hundreds. Like it used to be so rare, and now it's like pff, I got a billion of them. So like, why not make it a little harder to actually operate and to use? So. I'm I'm on board with that. I think that'd be really really cool. I like it a lot, Durf Vader. Duff and Duff Vader. And uh, we have our own ideas. What what do you got here for uh, ingress? So I have one um, that is the speed lock indicator. I would like to know when I have been speed locked or not, because every time. I come to a red light, and I'm a dri- I'm not driving, <laughs> and I would like to, you know, hack something, blow something up, and I'm like, wow, it's a red light. We're stopped, and I just happen to be in range of a Circle K. That's awesome. Oh, but it's blue. Let me make it green. Oh, wait, it's a missed all resonators. What do you mean? I'm right on it. Oh, oh this... And is this ever going to turn green? We've been here for five minutes and I'm still speed locked. What? <laughs> how about like a little red frame or something? Well, how about you take care of the visuals, Niantic? But just how about to do something? Let us know that, no, whatever you try to do in Ingress is not going to work. 
Give it up, kid. Go home. You're drunk. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Just let us know if everything is inoperable and just move on with your life. Because it really sucks every time I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So that's it. I think that's an excellent idea because I don't know about you, but lately I feel like they've made a change and it's much stricter. Like used to, you could drive up to a portal and, you know, park, stop the car, take the keys out of the ignition, open the door, get out. And hack the portal and it would work, right? And now it's like you pull up, you turn the car off because you don't do this while you drive ever, right? You always pull up (laughs) into a proper parking position, angled your car just so you get out, you lock your door, you go around, you let your passenger out, you close their door. I don't know why you're opening their door. Maybe they don't have arms. Wow, it's so cordial. <laughs> well, it was the glider gloves. They had the glider gloves, which messed up their hands, and they couldn't open doors anymore. You got to watch the video oh, to catch my. that reference. But so, and then you try to hack, and it's like, no, sorry, you can't do that yet because uh, hack acquired no items because you're speed locked. And it's like, but it just seems like it takes longer now to to hack. Is that just me? Um, I I don't know. It it seems very very uh variable i guess because sometimes sometimes it's a short period of time sometimes it feels like forever um so a lot of the times like you know if we're stopped and I, like my test sometimes is not to just throw out bursters or try to capture stuff sometimes my test is just to simply um recharge something because if the recharge doesn't work, then yeah. you're locked. So, and, yeah. and you can do that outside of a range and you don't have to like wait. So, but it's like, oh man, it's like so much work just to find out. Yes, you are indeed, sir, unable to, to operate anything in ingress. And it's like, oh man, that was a lot of work just to get cut that confirmation, which was ultimately uh, bad news. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh well. Oh well. Oh, well, I guess I'll just alt tab over to the old Pogo and play and try that out. <laughs> well, and it, if I'm speed locked over there <laughs> and it could be my uh, data connection, it could be sprint sucking as well. So mm-hmm. who knows, right? Who knows? Except for Rudolph. All right. So Rudolph we have any of uh, these. He knows. Oh, I thought he red knows. Uh, do we have any <laughs> other of these little things going on here? Nose. We don't have any. We need some more uh, cool ideas from people um, to send to us because um, the more we get, the more people like uh, Andrew will maybe listen to when he's listening to the show. And he'll be like, hey, guys, a staff meeting comes up and he's like, you know, I heard a really cool idea on Agent Academy the other day. Yeah. And they're like, really? Let me know. What is this awesome idea? Well, rumor is and they he's sit like, around in the table and just listen to the show each week. So, <laughs> And they make fun of it. And it's really sad. Well, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. So, um Oh, did you have one? I had the, another I had an one. Idea. Oh, I have a first oh. one. I haven't said <laughs> mine yet. I want to hear it. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face with it, like you punched me in the face. So, an XM minor. So, this would be something that you could do at home, right? And you could set down the XM minor, and it would like think Dune, right? You sit out in your farm in your spice or your XM. Uh, but the thing is, it sits there and it takes the XM. And just starts creating items and throwing them in the air and they land on the ground. And so you can either pick them up and put them in your inventory or they can go away or someone else could grab them. So if you're not paying attention or you're not watching, it could just sit there and drain the XM and you got to keep charging it with your XM, filling it up with XM to keep it building stuff. So you can basically turn your cubes into items or whatever. Takes time, you know, and but and you can't really leave it because if you leave, someone could just come and take all your crap and walk on, you know. Right. And, uh, yeah. So, but it would give you something to do like at home, right? Like that's the big thing is like not always having to go out when you can't. Mm-hmm. 
Right. Yeah. That's that's true. It would give you something to do, and uh, so that's kind of a neat idea. It's like mining for Bitcoin. <laughs> it's like, uh, but it's it's creating something new, like a like the old uh, Mofo capsules. Mofo, Mofo. But uh, but you're saying, but it basically mines them and spits them out, and like it'd be like on the ground, right? Yeah. So no, you could actually go when you knock a a portal down, and there's a key sitting there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just like that. So you could go. So you wouldn't want to mine in in a a, a heavy down like downtown Tokyo or something. Right. Where there's like bajillions of. Um, so you kind of want to like get off by yourself, or if you you know live out in the in rural countryside, that's a yeah. great. Um, like but that's kind of farming though. party, you know. You all mm. sit down your your miners as you're like farming some portal, talking at dinner where there's maybe not a portal or something, and it's like, hey. You go ahead and grab all these because I don't need any more shields or something, you know, and I'll just grab the burster. So you can kind of like trade items without having to like drop a capsule to trade items or something. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, that's cool. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah we'll yeah, see yeah, that in the game yeah. any day. <laughs> okay. All right. So. All right. Aru. That uh, sends us into a new segment or another segment. It's not really new. Greetings, Agent. You just called the Agent Academy podcast. Comes hotline. Is, is it over? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Jay All right. JBJ Blaze, thanks for the awesome bumper. Uh, it was even better than I ever imagined. <laughs> and we got a ton here. We're actually running uh, behind, so we're gonna we're gonna just plow through these. Okay. Uh, so here we, go. we got a couple phone calls. The first one here is from uh, Taborda. Do you think Niantic will change the free to play aspect of Ingress? So, well, I, boy, I, you know, I don't think so. It, I mean, you know, I mean a pay a pay to play model with something that's like I don't know like yeah, three ninety nine for the app or yeah I mean you, they would have to they would have to offer a lot more like I, I would I would envision some sort of like live action MMO like where you know kind of like we were kind of shown in early. Pokemon Go trailers where you can see them and you can interact with them and you're running around. It's probably Harry Potter. I, I would see maybe if a Harry Potter was that interactive and that intensive and stuff, maybe a paper paper play. But I don't think they'd ever change this. I mean, yeah. a, an in-game store is perfect. You know, you spend a little money or not, you know. Yeah, I could see them going a little more Pokemon Go, right? There's a lot more items to purchase, bag space, uh, room for this or that. Uh, mm -hmm. of course they have creatures and stuff you buy so hopefully i don't think they'll get to like where you buy bursters though frackers are close to that right so they are they have added more items it's still free to play and i think they'll always keep the free to play model but i think they will have other ways to monetize right uh, right monetize. so yeah great question all righty this next one here is from nagi hello agents Tuning in from Germany. Sorry for using text to speech, but my accent butchers every attempt recording a voicemail. So, during the weekend, Ingress 2.0, now known as Ingress Prime, got revealed. Agents got a little preview during the after party with the instruction not to film anything. Well, as you may have seen, that didn't work. Leaks are flying around through various channels. That got me thinking. Niantic always used some unconventional methods to advertise Ingress. 
What do you think of the theory that they either secretly allowed the recordings or even uploaded them themselves? Also, thanks for the code, but I don't need it. You can give it away during the podcast. In fact, I have a code for Jarvis viruses for you. Here it goes. L. U. 4. 9. 6. 9. T. M. D. A. So, awesome question, Nagy. So, the theory that they leaked the videos for Prime announcement or let people take them specifically for it. They were longer, right? They let them film longer than they were saying they were letting people actually see stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and the fact that they're just sitting there with their phones like pointed at them, uh, blatantly filming that, you know, they could have said something like, uh, sorry, sir, uh, you know, NDA, uh, we're going to have to uh, kill you, uh, something. But, um, yeah, it did, I mean, they never really se- seemed like they were leaks per se, you know what I mean? Because they didn't, they're just like, okay, well, I'm sure you can do whatever you want with them. I think, I think they were okay with it. I don't think they leaked them on purpose or anything like, Hey, uh, can you film this and make it look like I'm showing you? Like, I, I don't know if it's a, that level of a conspiracy, but I think, um, I think they were cool with it and they figure, Hey, we're already showing people that are here live. Let's show the world too. But through the lens of a crappy little cell phone camera, you know, but I, I like that they did. I really liked that they did that. So that was cool. Yeah. I, I don't know because it's, it's, if they didn't want to let, people film it seems like it would have been pretty easy to not let them film i mean you would see them with the camera i would think you know maybe not maybe they hit it so i i don't know i i think it's definitely something they could have done um but i don't know if they did or not so yeah great question though let us know what you think but yeah and thanks for the code too um first come first serve who's going to get it who's going to get it Get that code. And that's a great idea, dropping a code in a voicemail. Everybody else, feel free to do that. It's a really cool idea. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, that was it for the calls, right? Yeah, that's all the calls. And we're going to uh, run through uh, a ton of these messages we got. We'll just mm. go back and forth. You want to start? Okay. Uh, Fabio Taborda says, um, uh th- Oh, I just skipped one. Uh, anyway, thoughts on the board cleaning they announced? Uh, I think they reannounced that, or they re clarified that they're not going to clean it. They're listening to us. So go post on the thread and let them know what you want. Yep. But I don't think there are. Uh, no. Alex Higgins says, Love the cloak mod. Brilliant. Soho, you hit it on the, the nail on the head with the location nab. Anything to help us watch the road more is brilliant. And wow, part of the Ingress Prime, vid- Prime video you mentioned that was done a few years back. That was eerie. Mm-hmm. Also, sorry, I'm blowing up your channel. Can't help it. But man, imagine if they allow actual agent versus, versus agent battling if in range. That would put Ingress at another level. Agents come to my town. And if I win, the loser goes into only hack mode for a set amount of time. <laughs> so I think the player, uh, the player or agent versus agent thing, I, d- I don't think that will ever exist because that's not the nature of this game. I think that idea will definitely be in the Harry Potter game, though. I think so. You know? Yeah. It'll turn out just to be a big Quidditch match. We'll see that. <laughs> All right. All right. This next one. Uh, the next one, uh, GH. <laughs> I pause. Anilida. Anilida. Dang, man. I'm hard, I'm, it's hard to pronounce. I annihiled you. I annihiled you. Uh, January 1st. That's their prediction. Um, hence, Prime. Oh, Prime being the n- number one. Uh, it's farther along than we are led to believe. Remember, the world is not what it seems. And why would they show an alpha version? I bet it's already at internal beta. And the players who showed it were bound by an NDA and couldn't disclose everything. Mm-hmm. Conspiracy theories flying about. Yeah. Well, and I think it's going to be hard to do a beta because it's if it, it seems like they're, the data has got to be separate between the original game and Prime. And that's why maybe they were talking about clearing out that data 
when you switch over, so they don't have to worry about like porting the data or whatever into the new system. Uh, Mm -hmm. But so how do you do this like beta testing when you're on the same stuff, but you know, you're not, you're only playing against beta testers. Well, you've got to get a ton of beta testers or specific areas. So it's almost how they did Pokemon go when they released new features. And maybe that's what they were testing is they would Mm -hmm. do it in just certain areas first. So like San Francisco, all everybody's moved over to the new whatever. I mean, it's going to be hard to test unless they just throw everybody into the the lake and see who drowns. <laughs> All right, you're you're right about that. Let's we'll see. Okay. Uh, so. Thanks for another pod, pod podcast. I enjoy them. See here, yeah. uh, my opinion on backpack accounts is straight up cheating. One player, one account. Inventory management is part of the game. Hmm. Yes, uh, yeah. agree hundred percent on that. Really, <laughs> uh, if if they want us to have more inventory, they'll add it to the game, or you know. get married and have kids. That's what yeah, I did. That's it works true. well. Yeah. <laughs> grow up, grow some little uh, backpack babies. And the next one we have is uh, I'm Das Boot. He says, uh, "Yep, I'm still listening weekly, but the Thanksgiving holiday five day weekend messed with my sleep schedule since I work third shift." So. Uh, so I haven't been able to watch live. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch well, it next time. Hopefully, um, you'll, you'll get some days off to watch. Yeah, and we've changed the name. Uh, we changed the time to twelve thirty, right? That's right, twelve thirty Central Time, and uh, which is only thirty minutes past. But we'll we'll still be here. We're just adjusting some things, but still, that's noon and that's Central Time. And we we're live. Figure out holiday schedule too. So just keep follow on Twitter, and uh, we'll let you know what's going down. Frank Smith says, "I like the way you guys do it." See how I planned me to get all the short ones? This That's is how it. you do it. We like how you do it. <laughs> and this one from Space Hog, uh, uh, <laughs> J. Ray, right? Yeah. And let's see, referring back to the to last week's podcast, all the personal all time best you said and and hope to see in agent stats is already there. Uh, so we were saying how about a, a world leaderboard? Um, but right. uh, in agent, he's saying in, in the app agent stats, if you're using that, that exists. He says, just click on groups tab at the top, then select the badge category of what you want to view, then select join group. From there, you'll be able to see the top 50 in the world in, in said group. Uh, it also shows you your status in that group. Eric said he was curious about who trekked the furthest. That would be agent Q3, that's COO3. And he or she has trekked 21,255 kilometers. Obviously, these stats only show agents who have uploaded their stats, but it's still pretty accurate. That makes my 300 kilometers that I'm trying to get for my next badge uh, seem pretty, pretty uh, shetacular. Like that word, that's a new word. I made it. Up. I mean, it could have been strapped to somebody's dog. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. You can do that. You can put it on, on a drone too if you want. I don't, and, know. I don't know if that works. Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> Yang Hao says, "Interesting. The top two. Oh, yeah. The top two nemesis agents in your video are on the brokers guild list. <laughs> that was. That was. Uh, yeah. So, and so uh, I, I saw them playing yesterday. So." Anyway. So uh, if um, if you don't know what he's saying, we just p- put out a video. We actually filmed this uh, a few years back. Um, we uh, just put it up on our channel for the first time. It's Who's Your Nemesis? Uh, we go around our city asking uh, um, local uh, agents of both factions uh, who your nemesis is. And um, so you need to go watch it. And he's saying the top two winners are uh, Brokers Guild people. Anyway... Yeah. That's uh, interesting. So if you want to be a really annoying to your whole city, <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. So and we got some stuff from Telegram. And, and apparently I'm probably an idiot because I'm assuming that next week in the chat room is is Agent Nagy. Who's, yes. Uh, so I don't know why I'm just putting that together, but uh, they actually were the ones who talked about the Axe of Portals getting removed from the network and heard that uh, someone's guardian disappearing at 145 days. So thanks for that. That was in our Telegram channel. So be sure to join that as well. You can find that in the show notes or at Telegram. We'll get you the shout channel so you can uh, get the discussion channel. Anyway, last but not least, 
Agent I am Das Boot says, so do we ask Nianta Claus for another mofo or VR gear for Christmas? And there's a a post on Google Plus from Blue Thug, who is an elf of Nianta Claus. And uh, you can get your uh, letters to them. We'll put that in the show notes as well as all the other links that uh, we have talked about. A matter of fact, we put most of them in a pre Intel agent Intel on the website that uh, you can find on our Twitter and we'll start doing that weekly. So you can start commenting as soon as possible about, about things that we'll be uh, chatting about that day as well cool. as uh, go to audible trial.com slash agent Academy, get you a free book. There is an ingress book in there and I have it and I enjoy it. I've listened to it three times now. So, uh, you can also listen to soundcloud.com slash agent dash academy to listen to um, our podcast. And if we find any ingressed songs like the one from uh, Dev Regen, we'll uh, share it and put it on there as well. We'll share their version of it. Not We're not posting it on our channel. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Um, also, another cool thing about that audio book that you get, it's narrated by Ada. Yeah. Like the voice you hear in the game, it's actually like the voice and the audio, but it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, that's really the show. And of course, you know, our Twitter, Facebooks, our G pluses, we're all agent Academy everywhere you go. So go check out except our channel Facebook. and except for Facebook, we're uh, agent Academy yeah. podcast, I think. So, yay. That was a really packed full of good, bad, and pretty and ugly happy and Great sad boy. where are you going um, with this are you making a polar you're making opt- a i don't know what i'm doing really i like it um, broken out on the show <laughs> <laughs> call the ambulance <laughs> oh, well and i've got to go I, my wife's waiting out there for me uh we've got to go take her car because someone hit her car hit our car oh, oh no we got to take it to the insurance adjuster and get a, a rental so hmm. we've got to get out of here uh, give us uh, another question on uh, speakpipe.com slash agent academy you'll get a call in just like uh, Nagy and just like the, the Nagster the, <laughs> is that the new name Nagy and uh, Tab Order so thank you once again agents this has been the agent academy we need an outline out, outro like cause it, it, the show just never ends we'll just sit here and babble <laughs> back and forth like I don't know how to end this thing we just, <laughs> I know. Agent, agents B B and uh, we, we we could still uh, uh Andrews he says happy hacking you know what he says no, happy no. we want our no, own we want to steal it we we'll, want our we'll, own we'll make I, one I like uh, agents <laughs> it's all Wait, awkward that's <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, this, 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 it. <laughs> and then we wait for it like what's next I don't know no, no, no. It's, right. it's, okay well we'll think about it maybe next week yeah maybe maybe all right until then maybe next week Agents. <laughs> 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 <laughs>